big asset of Kumai is the people. Um, it's it's about the personalities. It's Italy. Food's great. It's close to the airport. I mean, I'm just going through this very quick, really quickly, but you've got the kind of close access to it. It's well priced. Um, it's a great mountain. It's it's one mountain, and I think there's something there for everyone in Kumai. You can get to get close to very great food with your family. So mum and dad can have what they want, sophisticated food, great wines, and the same restaurant you can have, the kids can have a bowl of pasta or a pizza or something. And I think having that great combination is quite unique because in other resorts, you either go to a restaurant at this level or you have to go to a brasserie. Kumai is at 1,200 meters roughly, and it's, um, it's the great thing about it is it's close to Turin, it's close to Milan, it's close to Geneva, so it's very easy to get to. Um, an hour and a half, which is really attractive. It's got fantastic restaurants, it's got great restaurants in town, great rest restaurants on the mountain. So what I like about it is doing B&B. You know, you, you check into a hotel and then you eat out. And just get up in the morning, see what you feel like eating, and kind of plan your holiday around it. It's got some great signature runs like the Ballet Blanche, so, which is what Chamonix has as well. Um, it's got some great free ride terrain. You've got heli skiing. And we, it's got um, great peace cruising. It, it kind of ticks the box for everyone, and it's really, really well priced. Everything runs around the personalities, the owners of the hotels, the owners of the bars, the owners of the, um, the restaurants. They live there all year round. They remember you, they welcome you back. Uh, it's a holiday. It's a holiday. It's, I always. I always think it's, um, it's a boutique rather than a department store. That's, that's how I see Kumaya. Um, it's got that personal touch and very friendly, very unique.